and it is a frustration for me. I love college football and I've been doing this my whole life. And, and one of the reasons I came back was to try to help. And, and I want to be a voice and, and a lot of coaches, younger coaches or coaches that may be in some under some scrutiny at their own jobs can't speak out and, and I can. And, and I, I want the NCAA to start listening to coaches more. They're not. Sometimes athletics directors are, are listening to the coach and then they'll go vote uh, in a manner that, that the, the coach doesn't care about. So our coaches need to have a bigger voice, it needs to be stronger. Uh, the oversight committee right now, which is making a lot of these decisions, has one coach on it. It's David Cutcliffe, and he and it's a big committee, and and he gets worn down because nobody will listen to him. And and it's not best for young people if they don't have coaches involved. We've got uh, Todd Berry at the American Football Coaches Association, and Todd's not on any of these committees. They won't listen to him. So I'm I'm really really concerned that even name, image, and likeness. Everybody wants to help the guys, but we don't know what that means. It's been out there for a year and we don't know what it means. And we don't need, we don't know when it's going to place. And all of us are trying to help young people and we're trying to help their branding. And we're trying, trying to help them uh, when they get out of school. But, but what does name, image, and likeness mean? And now it's in the political realm and it's all over the place. We still don't know what it means. So we're being asked about it. Athletics directors have tremendous amount of pressure on them about name, image, and likeness. They don't know what it means. And then the NCAA gives all these kids and all these sports an extra year back while universities and athletics directors are losing money. And we don't even think about that. We don't think about how they're going to pay for all this. So you lose millions of dollars on a year with COVID and give extra people opportunities so you're putting pressure now on that athletics director or those coaches to determine we don't have enough money to bring you super seniors back. So the schools with money are going to treat the kids better than the schools that do not. And then I'm, I'm passionate. If I had a son or a grandson right now that was in the 22 class, I'd be furious. I'd be raising Cain because it's not fair. It's not fair that you, maybe you don't have enough money to go to college and you've worked your whole life to get to a point where you get a scholarship and now the school can't give you a scholarship because they don't have one. That's not fair. And, and those, those young people shouldn't be punished because of a decision we made at the NCAA level for everybody else. And we're still sitting here right now in, in um, the middle of April. We don't know how many we can offer and we're offering scholarships. That's not fair. That's putting coaches in an awful place. We don't know that we can have camps. And that comes up in June. And we're inviting kids to camp. People are paying for their, their admissions to camp. We don't know if we're going to have it or not. We don't know about summer vacations for, for coaches. They don't even know if we're going to be out July or not. Come on, man. Tell us what to do. Talk to us. Ask us questions. And, and Greg, that's why I think it's time to get a commissioner that would be the NCAA is involved in so many different facets. They just got through with March Madness. Get us a commissioner that cares about us. Get us somebody that'll listen to our needs and get us somebody we can talk to and, and share these frustrations because nobody at the NCAA level is going to have to talk to that parent about not having a scholarship. I, I've, got, I've got to explain to them why their son can't go to college. And, and I, I think that's very unfair. And, and I really hope that the NCAA, the oversight committee will revisit it because I, I know athletics directors don't have enough money and I know that's a problem. So a lot of athletics directors probably say, let's just let it go this year. This is about the kids. This isn't about money. This isn't about who has it. So let each school do what they need to do. Let each school make the decision. If you've got the money to give the kids a scholarship, give it to them. If you don't, that's okay. We understand that. But don't punish all the universities and all the kids because we made a decision last year during a time where we had no money to add more pressure to the athletics directors. I just don't think it's fair.